All right, you guys. I'm so excited to be here in the house with one of my friends who has actually been on the podcast years ago, which goes to show that we can stay connected via the social, digital, crazy world that we live in because Carmen is one of those people that I just continue to see come into my sphere. I see that light that she has and the way that she serves in such an abundance way. You guys are going to receive that today, but we're also going to give you an invitation to receive it even more by being in person with us. So Carmen, let's get into this conversation. I'm so excited to have you here, but more excited to be in person in Bend, Oregon in just a couple of weeks. I know it's been so long since we've been in person together. And for I'm sure many of the listeners, they still haven't been in person with a lot of people often. And so it just fills my heart. And I just I see this vision. I was sharing with my friend the the other day, the vision again for the conference. And I close my eyes and tears just start rolling down because I can just see the vision of what God has. And it's the attendees and the speakers Mm -hmm. and the sponsors and the vendors and just everybody in the room just being so amplified. And it just, oh, it's just Oh, overwhelming. Yes. Just the, the joy uh, that I, I was so excited. One of my favorite things, I was just at a conference this past weekend that I spoke at, and um, I was looking at the creator of the conference, of course, the ultimate creator we know, but like the person who did the mm-hmm. day in, day out laboring, the, the vision casting that happened, the sleepless nights that occurred, the areas of like releasing your hands because we want to control everything and we want to know the end results. And yet we can't always. And I was looking over at her at like the final minutes of the event and just saw those same tears weeping coming down her face and just thinking, look at what you've done. Like you're just in that moment of like, well done, my good and faithful servant. Well done, daughter. And so I can't wait to celebrate you in that moment because it's fun to do the lead up but there's something on the other side of just your yes that you're going to see what transpires, the the transformations that are going to take place. And you are really leaned into this idea of amplifying your life. It's your podcast. It's the energy that you put out into the world every day. Tell us more about what that really means to you and what that means potentially for someone who is joining us, regardless of how they join us virtually um, on podcasting, things like this, or in your digital world, or most importantly, in this conference arena. Yeah. So after spending 16 years in corporate leadership, which I loved my corporate position and I had just so many experiences there that I just am so grateful for, I set off to be a coach and I realized that my true gift was seeing the gifting in other people, Mm -hmm. that I can see the gifts in them. And somehow, whether it's a room of one person or a room of 500 people, people really feel seen and it lights and amplifies that that's already within them to be able to take that step that they've been putting off, to be able to set those boundaries, to be able to do the thing that they know that they're being called to do personally or professionally. And so we're all leaders in some fashion, whether that be just leading ourselves or leading at home, leading at work through our teams or being entrepreneurs. And you know, we really sat down with our company this year and thought about what is our mission and what is our vision. And we've been saying for a long time, the vision is really being the one. We Mm. invite everybody to join us to be the one to show the world how truly great life is. But that seems kind of like a theory, like it's up here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I feel it so big in my heart because we all have the responsibility to be the one. Yeah. In our communities. But it's challenging because we have so much coming at us all the time. And so we sat down and really thought about, well, how do we do this? How do we really significantly improve the lives of millions of leaders around the world? And we do that through amplifying their gifts, their voices, their lives, and their businesses Mm -hmm. through collaboration, learning, and personal growth. Because personal growth is really the foundation, but then we can't do anything if we're not taking care of our health, our spirituality, all the things, and we need other people. We need other people. And so creating these programs and creating this event that will be in person, there's going to be time for community and collaboration, which Mm -hmm. normally you go to an event and you're spoke at, and it's great, and it's wonderful, and you leave inspired. But I don't want people to leave inspired. I want them to feel amplified and activated so that they can take the inspiration and they know their next step and they know that they are resourced with the people and the opportunities that they need in order to be able to get there. 